Greetings! Today we'll be adding and subtracting. Let's start by adding a couple big numbers. When we add multi-digit whole numbers, what do we want to do first? We want to line them up by place value. Then, starting in the ones place, we shall add. 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 doesn't fit. The 1 goes here, but the 10 goes next door. Now we have 1 and 9, which is 10. We leave the 0, carry the 1. 2 and 8 is 10, plus the one we carried is 11. 1 stays here, 1 goes to the neighbors. 6 and 7 is 13, plus the one we carried is 14, so that's 4 here and 1 to the neighbors, and don't forget your comma. Lastly, we have 1 plus 5, which is 6. You got it, right? Great. Now, what if I have numbers that look kind of like this, but they have a decimal? Does that change things? Well, it doesn't change the fact that we need to line our numbers up by place value. And now we can add as we usually do. 7 plus 4 is 11. We leave the 1, carry the 1. 1 and 9 is 10. We leave the 0, carry the 1, and don't forget your decimal. 2 and 8 is 10 plus the 1 we carried. That's 11, so 1 here, 1 carried. 6 and 7 is 13 plus the 1 we carried, so that's 14. 4 here, 1 goes here. And lastly, 1 plus 5 is 6. Got it? Great. Let's subtract. When we subtract multi-digit whole numbers, what's the first thing we do? If you said line up by place value, you are correct. Now, can we just start subtracting? No, because I can't take 8 away from 0, or 7 away from 6, or 9 away from 4. So, we're going to have to do a little redecorating here. In the tens place, we're going to steal one of those and give 10 ones to the neighbors, and that'll drop me down to a 5 in the tens place. Still can't take 7 away from 5, so looking at the hundreds, I'm going to steal one of those, which gives me 10 more tens and leaves me with 3 in the hundreds. So, I need to take a thousand away from the 8, which gives me 10 hundreds, and leaves me with 7 in the thousands place. Now we're all ready. 10 minus 8 is 2, 15 minus 7 is 8, 13 minus 9 is 4, 7 minus 4 is 3, and don't forget your comma. And lastly, 7 minus nothing is 7. Okay, now that you've got that, let's try it with a decimal. Here we have a four-digit number and a four-digit number. Does that mean we just line up our four-digit numbers? No, we still need to line up by place value. But that leaves us with a hole over the 8, and we like to make those prettier with a 0. Okay, now can we start subtracting 8 from 0, 7 from 6? No, we got to do a little redecorating. So from the tenths place, we'll give the hundredths some company. That leaves us with 5 tenths, which we can't take 7 away from 5 tenths. So we'll take some out of the 1s, give those to the tenths. That leaves us with 3 in the 1s place. We can't take 9 away from 3, so lastly, from the 10's place, we'll steal. That gives us some more 1's and leaves us with 7 10's. Now we're all ready. 10 minus 8 is 2, 15 minus 7 is 8, don't forget your decimal. 13 minus 9 is 4, 7 minus 4 is 3, and lastly, 7 minus nothing is 7. Okay, now that we're all warmed up, let's do an example together. Here, Maya goes to the movies with a $20 bill. She buys a ticket, she buys a soda. We want to know how much money she has left. So you can do this a few different ways. I'm going to start by adding what she spent. So let's add 955 and 375. Starting in the hundreds place, 5 and 5 is 10. Leave the 0, carry the 1. 5 and 7 is 12, plus the 1 we carried. So that's 13. Leave 3, carry the 1. Don't forget your decimal. And in the ones place, 9 plus 3 is 12, plus the 1 we carried. So that's $13.30. So are we done? No. We want to know how much money she has left. Well, she started with a 20, and then she spent 13.30. Does it look like that? No, we know we need to line up place values, so scoot your 20 over, and then fill in zeros for pretty. Okay, now, are we all ready to subtract? Zero from zero is zero, three, uh, no, we can't take the threes away from the zeros. So let's steal from the tens place. I'm going to take one of those tens, that gives me some more ones, that drops down my tens. I still need to deal with this other zero, so we're going to take one out of the ones place, which gives me ten tenths, and now we're all ready. 0 minus 0 is 0, 10 minus 3 is 7, don't forget your decimal, 9 minus 3 is 6, and this is our answer. So, in summary, when you add and subtract whole numbers and decimals, what do you do? Line up your place values. 